Okay, so one thing that we've wanted to do since we moved into this house was add some privacy landscaping along the back fence line. So today we're gonna go rent a U-Haul trailer and we're gonna go pick out some plants to give us a little bit of privacy. Like it. Here they are, all six of them. We got to figure out the spacing a little bit more. You can see on this side, there's a lot of growth here and it, it's very shaded most of the day. So we didn't want to continue them there. Although we discussed it if we need to add another one. But for now, we have these six. You can see the people behind us have some I don't know what kind of trees those are, but um, we are thinking about maybe kind of staggering like that so that there's more privacy. Okay, so this portion of the fence right here, we're gonna address it fairly soon. They didn't continue it because, let me show you, there's these tree stumps all back here and that one, was in the way so they just kind of left it because they didn't have dogs they needed to keep in or anything like that but this was our temporary fix so this guy wouldn't go over there but we are going to we're gonna rent a chainsaw and an auger and we're gonna try to get all this stuff out and get these planted those things were heavy We need a refreshment. We need a refreshment. We gotta go return this trailer. We're not gonna be, I have stuff all over me. We're not gonna be digging these 
in tonight. We just needed to get them home. It was gonna cost us almost double. 65%. 65% of the total cost, which was a lot anyways, um, for them to deliver them and plant them. So we're gonna do the hard work and save a little bit of money that way, even though, man, it would definitely be nice to have it's somebody else do this. It's gonna look good though. Um, they're all six to seven feet tall. I'd say they're all seven feet tall. It's gonna add some nice privacy like immediately. They're gonna get, I think up to 15 feet tall and up to five feet wide. So we gotta figure out our spacing. There's some power lines that we have to make sure that we're not gonna interfere with, um, but uh, it's really not bad, so. Right. Time to return the trailer. No I know I said that we were not going to be planting those bushes or trees, whatever you want to call them, today, but somebody just could not sit still. How is digging in Kentucky? compared to digging in Texas. Texas needs to charge 130% at least <laughs> to dig gold because if it weren't for the roots, this is freaking cake. It's not like rocks and everything you have in Texas. It's a good workout. Yeah. I wish I could help you. I just don't think it'd be good for my foot. It's funny, you always say that. <laughs> you wish you could help me. <laughs> But somehow you never can. <laughs> I appreciate your wishes. <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm just trying to do my part. <laughs> Looks good. Imagine in a couple of years, we may not be here, but uh, whoever is gonna end up here will appreciate it. some uh, backyard talks while Chris is working hard. We have some plans for back here. Of course, we're starting with the privacy. This area behind the chipmunk fortress is super dense grown in during the summer. When we moved in, it was still winter and so it was not as dense, but this thing those bushes and the shed we really don't see back here so once again not a super priority but we plan to have some garden beds flower beds all through here of course you can see our paint samples we obviously have not painted yet probably will be in a oh, few weeks maybe um, we keep having things potentially delaying us, so we are going to be redoing this deck. It is pretty rotted. We're going to try to dig out this, or at least level it, this tree stump, and then we're going to redo the deck. Once we remove the top portion, we're going to use this wood to build the compost container. I guess, structure that we're gonna put all the compost in. Right now it's just a pile in the backyard, so we're gonna try and contain that a little bit. And then as far as the shed, we've talked about tearing down this shed and putting in just another shed in its place, probably not quite so large. That way we have a place to put all the lawnmower, because it's just out behind that lean-to, um, but all the Lawnmower, shovels, garden stuff. Our priority right now though is still on the inside and then uh, painting the house. So next we're gonna be, we're probably gonna start with 
the inside we're going to be planking the ceiling which is pretty exciting cover up those ugly textured ceilings that we have we still need to add some recessed lighting to the kitchen we haven't done that we only did the living room and we decided to not do the dining room so you'll see that and you'll see why so we're going to be planking painting and then on the outside we're going to be fixing some of the mortar and then we'll be able to prime the trim and then we actually don't have to prime the brick with this uh, Roma Bio paint that we're going to be using, the masonry flat. So that's nice. We just have to kind of power wash the house, make sure it's clean, and then we'll start painting. Yeah, so lots of things coming up. It's going to be exciting. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and go in the hole. See if there's a chipmunk in there. It's a little mean. He likes digging holes now. Check out this one. He's like, oh, nope. no, you're not gonna bury me in that. We watered them without them being backfilled, so that's the problem. And then it fell over. Chris is gonna actually go buy some soil amendments. I mean, our soil is pretty dang good, but he's gonna see if he can find like some mycorrhizae or something to add to the soil to help the roots. And then backfill it in the morning after he drops me off at work. And then uh, get some mulch as well. So that's why we didn't quite backfill. We are taken next week off because we'll be out of town to see family, but we'll return the following week ready to tackle the planking of our ceilings. Thanks again for watching and we hope to see you next time as we continue to update this 1948 house into our little Southland Charmer. <laughs>